Hey there, I'll say that here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man Project 4. In the last episode, we defeated Solar Man, Chill Man, and Nitro Man. And in this episode, we're gonna be fighting Commando Man, and this stage is gonna be a thing because it is desert themed, and that is there's a thing that happens in it that is kind of like, oh. Okay, that's a thing. It'll make sense when I get to it. <laughs> Either way, there are landmines and these things. You can kind of shoot to get a grasp on where Mega Man is in the sand. It's a neat stage. You stand on the landmine, you also activate it. As, as you would expect, and I think it hurts you, as you would also expect. You expect a lot of things, really. But you do want to blow them up because sometimes there are goodies hidden inside them, so it's like... Not always a bad thing. And this is what I was talking about. There are sandstorms that occur in this area. They, they push you forward, but also obstruct your view, and it's... Oh, that's an up and down. It looks like there's only one per area. Oh, no. So it's kind of a good thing to just kind of, if you don't know what you're doing, to kind of just wait it out. Especially because there's death spikes right there. And it would reasonably push you into that. Um... Yeah, this is Commando Man stage. Sure is fun. You know, I was thinking about Mega Man 9 and 10 earlier and just how they are so very, like, specifically, like, retro-themed. I feel like, in a way, they they really do, like, they really did kind of, like, go back on a lot of game design philosophies just to kind of make these games. Like, they removed a lot of things that I feel like were improvements in other Mega Man games, like, the char- not just the charge shot and the slide, which help with other things, but also in the fact that they also ch changed certain aspects, like there's no intro stage in this version, because there never was an intro stage in the classic Mega Man games on the NES. That didn't exist, even though the intro stage is arguably a very good idea. It helps you get used to the game before giving you the option to do other stuff and just choose the stage. But when it also it took out stuff like the voice acting and cutscenes from Mega Man 8, and I mean, that's, also, that's arguably a very good thing. But I mean, with... If they had been, like, better about how that was done. Friggin'! Thought that was gonna kill me, but the Met didn't activate. Because they don't activate in the sandstorm. <sighs> I hate the stupid sandstorm. This is what I was afraid of in this stage. Rush made that far easier. I should have thought of that eight much earlier, though. It's definitely possible to do, but I don't have the patience to bother bother with it. This one, I'm just gonna wait, wait out. Okay. Stay right about here. And I'll use my little bit, last bit of rush jet to get up here. There we go! I don't need the chill spikes, so there. Use that on you. I don't even know if I'm doing any damage. Yay! Might as well fill up my rush, even though it's not really gonna matter at all. And here we go. 
So it's good to know that I can just rush cheat my way through the last bit of that stage. Commando N! Alright, Commando Man shoots bombs. And he also shakes the ground. Good to know. Only when he faces the front, though, will he jump. Okay. Ow. Ow, whoa. This, the shockwave got me there. Alright, well, the first round's always a practice round anyway, so... Doesn't really mean much. Let's get our wheel cutter. You can do a lot of weird... Cool, cool stuff with this thing if you hold on to it, because you can, like... Something you can do with the wheel cutter is... Keep it pressed out like this. And you can do stuff like... Whee! So it's a very fun... It's a very fun tool to use. Anyways, we killed Commando Man! I was talking about something. Oh, right! I was talking about how, like, Mega Man 9 and 10 kind of, like... My... I think my issue with these games is that they never... I don't feel like 9 and 10 really evolved Mega Man in any sort of way. And I mean, like, back then, I guess, after... Since it was, like... Mega Man 8 came out in 96, I think. And Mega Man... Mega Man... Uh, 10 uh, Mega Man 9 came out in 2008, so ignoring Mega Man and Base, which was kind of just this random arbitrary game, sort of. Um, ignoring that one, there's there was a long time between Mega Man games, and after the lukewarm reception of Mega Man 8, it makes sense that they would go back to a formula that really worked with the eight, with just the 8-bit style of of classic Mega Man to, like, really just kind of... It was a, it was a retro-inspired game because that's what the people wanted of Mega Man. Like, that's, that's what worked, and so it was kind of cool to see. But especially after more recent games that have just done this retro style better and incorporated things that made more sense, like, for instance, Shovel Knight is a fantastic game that really in incorporates a lot of themes that are that are just evolu natural evolutions in game design, whereas this just kind of, like, it feels like an NES game. And I don't, I don't know, like, it just removes a lot of aspects that I feel like were improvements in later Mega Man games. It just removes them for the sake of being retro, and I don't necessarily think that was a good idea. You could have had an 8-bit intro stage and just kind of elaborate on the game. You didn't have to have all the arbitrary text pauses in the intro cutscenes and such. Thanks, Rush! There we go, that's what I wanted to do the first time. Alright, and here we have a castle. Ow. Shot me. It's not very nice of it. Damn it, Mega Man, I wanted you to jump. What would be good against these things? Thunderwolf? Well, sort of. Uh, that doesn't go up. Water shield? There we go. Yay, it has even a little victory swing. This is definitely a very neat mini boss. This is a neat stage with all of its quirks and stuff in the medieval theme. It's kind of reminiscent of Nightman from Mega Man 6. Get away from me, Axe! I didn't Axe for this! I am so doomed. Anyways, as I was saying, like, I don't- I just... What really kind of bothers me about all of this is a PSP game. Mega Man Powered Up. It's a remake of Mega Man 1, 
and I'm not going to be playing it because I don't have a PSP and PSP emulators I don't think exist, and also it's just, I don't have it, so it's, it's as simple as that. And even if I did have it, I don't have a way to record and play P PSP anyway, so. It would be cool if it came to, like, the 3DS or something, or a sequel or something, I don't know. But either way, Mega Man Powered Up is a brilliant game in that it really feels like a natural evolution of Mega Man. It's got full-on voice acting, it's got, it adds an intro stage, it, it adds new mechanics. Well, not really new mechanics, but it's in, it's in 3D, it's, it just feels like a, a completely natural evolution of Mega Man. You can play as all the Robot Masters, you can, they all have personalities. It's like, it's a really great, like, reimagining of Mega Man that is just, it adds so much to just what makes Mega Man great without really taking it away by, by, it's, it's just a fun game that adds to the experience, not because it's retro style, but because it's a natural evolution. It adds, it adds so much to the game that makes it really work. And this game, it came out in 2006, so that, that was, ow, damn it. Okay, I'm back. Ow, god damn it, water shield! That's the frustrating thing about you. Okay, I'm being very careful this time. My water shield and everything. I'm kind of annoyed at ha when stages kind of rely on gimmicks like this to really have a lot of difficulty. I feel like that kind of, like, hurts the ad hurts hurts it for me? I don't know. Whatever. Either way, I've kind of completely lost track of everything that I've been saying because just so much death right at the very end and, like, constantly dying. There's a trick to doing Blade Man well, but I don't really know it. Unless this is it. Did I accidentally just get him into a loop? No, okay. I screwed it up, How? whatever I did. Either way, I think there is definitely a loop there, but I don't, I don't really know what, I was, what, what to do with it. Like, how to get it to really reliably happen, as you could see. But it's kind of... That is definitely how- that is how you kind of want to deal with him well. But either way, what- what you want to do is use the Commando Bomb on him. You can also aim it upwards, but I'm just gonna kind of not do that. Because he's honestly really not that hard. Uh, whoops. I'm out of it. Damn it. Need to hit him one more time. Bam! Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to that battle. I'm not good at it yet. I'm not good at a lot of these battles, even though I kind of know... I kind of know general generalities about them, but, like, not ever having played it kind of hurts me on that. As you, as you might guess, it kind of hurts me on that. Either way, we now have our triple blade, I think it's called? Triple blade, yeah, we get to throw three blades, kind of like Blade Man did. You know, I feel like... I don't even know what I'm yet about to say. Like, I sort of was like, I feel like, but then like, I just kind of like, what was I... What, what was that opening for? What, what was my mind going to say right then and there, like... I literally lost what lost my thought the moment it ha the moment it came into my head. Either way, it's time to play some baseball. Or softball, I guess. Kind of a big ball. 
so could be either. Either way, this is definitely one of the more creative stages of Mega Man 10, because it's, you know, it's baseball themed, as opposed to being a arbitrary generic theme, and there are also locker enemies. Ow. Anyway, there's this guy who's kind of annoying. He also has no idea how to play soccer, considering he... He punches the soccer ball. It's not how you play soccer. Warp football, I guess, if... If you call it football. You have to fight him again in, later in the stage, but for now, he's not too bad. Hello. Ball dispenser things. I'm not very sportsy, so I don't know, like, a lot of this. Like, whoop. Although, I guess you can't really... This is all 8-bit at the same time, so it's like, what even is half of this stuff? You got these soccer balls that now... that they... those soccer ball rockets. So, that's kind of a neat thing. Whee! Oh, hi. Get out of here. Anyway, these things you just kind of want to shoot and avoid. That's why the footballs are weird, because they don't bounce regularly. They they kind of realistically football. If you you can you can jump in between the spikes on these things, which is a neat touch, but it's very hard to do, and I'm not good at it. I say as I do it and grab an extra life. I think this thing is weak against the bomb, but I died, so I don't get to test that out. There we go. I'm really bad at dodging that guy's attacks. Anyway, we're at, about to have some suck, some locker room fun, and I'm about to die. Damn it! I was hoping something would drop energy, but nothing dropping anything. Alright, I'm back. I'm not dead. Not yet, anyway. Ow. You know what? Screw you. And your, and your weird volleyball things. They're not actually volleyball, I just meant like it's a ball that you're volleying. I don't know. Too many lockers, not enough sense. Not enough sports. Thank you for the health, I greatly appreciate that. Don't appreciate respawning enemies! Yeah, there we go, I got him. Alright, and I got some bolts too. Alright, now let's go the actual- ow. The soccer balls that you stand on don't go up fast. That kind of messed with me. Oh, jeez, I'm low on- Let's hope he's weak to the triple blade very muchly so. Alright, Strike Man, I got through your baseball arena. Yeez. His weapon is the rebound striker. Ow. Yes, there we go, thank you! Jeez, I would not have wanted to go through the stage. I need to hit him with all three bolts, it looks like. Blades. No, they're not bolts. Bolts are the currency. I need to hit him with all three blades, and that does maximum damage. So, basically get right up on close and puncture the ball with giant swords. Seems a little excessive, but he's a robot trying to kill me. And now we're pink! We're pink Mega Man! My favorite! Rebound Striker! We're so pink! I love it. Looks a little bit more purple in the capture, but 
very pink on my screen. On the TV. Either way! A uh, cutscene is about to happen. Achoo! <laughs> and then Mega Man died. Mega Man, are you okay? Oh no, he's been infected by the virus! It's about time, honestly. Like, it's kind of unreasonable for him not to have been infected by the virus set before before now. If it's affecting every single robot master's robot or something, it's like he's been with Roll for a month. Dr. Light! The medicine making machine is gone! What should we do? Hello, Wiley. Greetings, people of the world! I hope you're enjoying the effects of my little robo Enza virus! If there are any more robots who want the cure, all you have to do is come work for me! And don't think Mega Man is going to save you like he usually does. He's come down with a nice case of robo Enza himself. Now you will finally see the true genius of Dr. Wily! The world is mine! Ha 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 ha! Choo! I should have known this was Dr. Wily's doing all along. I have to stop. No, you're in no condition to do anything. Roll! Mega Man, use this! I thought you took your medicine already. I was saving it in case a really sick robot was brought in. But Roll, you need it. If I use it, I still can't stop Wily. But if you take it, you can stop him. Thank you, Roll. Sit tight, I'll stop Dr. Wily and bring back enough medicine for everyone. We're all counting on you, Mega Man. Good luck. Be careful out there. You know, Wily, this plan make of yours makes no sense because if you wanted robots to come work for you, you should have A, built them yourself, considering you've done that a million times already, and B, what's gonna stop them from betraying you the moment you get, you give them the medicine? It's not as like a programming thing that you can change their, I mean, you probably could change their programming considering how you built all these other robots, but like, you, how are you gonna, it's not a, the, the, vi, what am I trying to say? The medicine is not a, Thing that it's like a actually I don't even know what the medicine is it's like a, it's like I said it's a dr. Mario pill with a bolt on it like is it ingested via the mouth what about robots who don't have mouths like I don't know maybe maybe since the medicine does work I don't know how the medicine works so I can't really this plan makes no sense this game makes no sense it's stupid the story is stupid but all Mega Man Mega Man stories are kind of dumb anyway I mean Nothing's ever gonna stop top Mega Man 8's awful story, though. So, I mean, I guess you don't play Mega Man games for the story anyway, so that's why I'm not exactly being like lenient on spoilers. Oh no, it's Dr. Wily. Who could have ever guessed that? Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna be going to the quite frankly really awesome Wily stages in the next episode of Mega Man Project 4. See you guys then. Also gonna go do some shopping. <laughs>